Okay, so welcome to uh, our presentation on how Among Us shook the entire world, amongst other things. So before we start this presentation, I just want to clarify that there has been no previous research about this, and we're not here to change your opinion, but we're here to present our own uh, facts, and this is our truth. So I will give the word to my fellow... Yes, let's just yes. jump straight in. The game was released in 2018, in June. Uh, the developers are called Innersloth Games, and uh, they drew inspiration from the popular party game Mafia, uh, in which you have to figure out who's an evildoer. Uh, it was firstly released on the mobile platforms such as the App Store and Google Play, uh, but it was later released on Steam uh, where it got the most attention. Shortly after the release, uh, they didn't get much attention for the game at all. Uh, they only had around 30 to 50 active players the first couple of years. Uh, this poor release was blamed on Innersloth being really bad at marketing, uh, but the small, uh, small and vocal player base kept the developers working on the project, which later led to the return of the king, the revival of Among Us. The developers continued work uh, with releasing new features, uh, as well as cutting the prices down on the downloadable content from f firstly from $4 to $2 and then finally they made it free uh, made, made it a more accessible game for the general public At According to Innersloth programmer Forrest Willard the team stuck with the game a lot longer than they probably should have from a pure business standpoint and all of these factors together uh, led the to the users eventually snowballing during 2020 to what Among Us is today. Uh, Covid is Among Us. During this uh, explosion of the player base uh, for Among Us, there was a new threat rising from the east. A new, never seen before virus was making its way through Wuhan, China at alarming speeds. The China virus also known as COVID-19 or coronavirus, was becoming a threat to life as we know it. So, Burger King re- <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, this was a song released on uh, YouTube. The original <laughs> creator is <laughs> unknown. Um, the release date is also unknown. Um, the song was sampled by uh, verbal, Verbalist Low Tetris Beatbox uh, Full video Bruh Momento <laughs> released <laughs> in 2019 There isn't much in, uh, information about this Among Us remix But it is still a well known and influential video uh, That is speculated to have been released uh, during 2020 and 2021 The same years as Covid the next slide. Um, the next uh, influential song is Among Drift, <laughs> created by uh, by the YouTuber Leons. Um, Among Drift, also known as Among Us Trap Remix, renamed, uh, uh, is also known as Remix. Uh, uh, it is also a remix of uh, Dead Body Reported. Okay, next one. So. Um, uh, during uh, June 15th, uh, 15th uh, tw uh, 2021, there was an Among Us 15 player update. Uh, the background, during this update, the lobbies in Among Us got, got bigger than ever before. You could now invite 50% 50, uh, 50 more players to your lobbies. So you got from 10, um, the maximum 10 players to uh, 15 players. And now um, we are making some slight connections with COVID. While we were supposed to stay away from each other and uh, stay away and not be like be together and be among us, um, they were actually giving us encouragement to be more people in groups. This is unacceptable. So Russian invasion of Ukraine during. 
2013, a conflict between Ukraine and Russia broke out. During the year 2014, the situation escalated even further by the, uh, by the invasion of Crimea half island. Um, then, uh, violation of international law, Minsk agreement is the next one. Uh, there was um, trying to get peace in between the two countries. Uh, there was a pardon, uh, pardon amnest amnesty for fighters. There was complete. There was supposed to be complete withdrawal of heavy weapons by both sides. Immediate comprehensive ceasefire, which was violated on both sides. During the end of um, the two thousand twenty twenty one Russian. Uh, okay. Uh, during the end of 2021, uh, Russia started to assemble their forces to once again try and conquer Ukraine. But this time the threat from the east was threatening all of Western, Western democracies. The reason for this invasion, uh, the reasons for this invasion are plenty, but uh, with Ukraine as a buffer between Russia and NATO, the Russian leader Putin would start his conquest on conquering all of Europe. This dream of Russia is currently not looking so achievable as Ukraine has managed to push, push back Russian forces and are currently push, uh, pushing for a stalemate but Putin has once, uh, once more, one more ace up his sleeve, the nuclear bomb. Nuclear threat among us. The conflict that Oliver talked about here has led to some, some stress in the security communities that it will escalate into a nuclear conflict in w between the Russian Empire and NATO. While the situation in Ukraine, uh, between Russia and Ukraine, are fairly isolated at this time, the threat of Russia using nuclear intervention can't be neglected. Is Among Us and the sussiness making Putin act in this suspicious behavior? That is the question, isn't it? So, April Fool's horse mode update. <laughs> okay. Released April 1st, 2022. It lasted only 36 hours. It was planned over a year. Um, as we can hear, as we can, as we can read on their own website at Inner Sloth. Among Us, crewmate and imposters re-imaged as a more cursed, four-legged version of themselves. This is a quote by Inner Sloth. Uh, new <laughs> kill sound that is voiced by our programmer Gary, also a quote by Inner Slot. Is this a connection between nukes and the nuclear fallout that can seriously damage the human body into something as horrible as a horse? Or <laughs> and can it, um, can it also lead to disabled speech <laughs> as the programmer Gary? <laughs> That is the real question here. So, in conclusion, and we have some certain qu uh, some questions that we are going to answer. Uh, is the Among Us uh, is Among Us the backbone of the Russian expansion into Western democracies? We believe so. Yes, as proof, we can see that there are many different suspicious behaviors by Putin. And he is also backed by many other countries that are also acting suspicious. So, did Among Us have anything to do with the China virus? I yes. think it definitely do. The Chinese, as we know, has many connections in the Western democracies, which are trying to program us into spreading this biological warfare weapon, maybe. You could say both the China virus and Putin has vented into Europe. They're trying to get into our system. <laughs> and as we mentioned before, the 15 player update is once, um, uh, once again programming us into getting into bigger groups. We are told by our own government to stay away. But this, this game is encouraging all of us to get into bigger groups than ever before. This is not acceptable. 
So, did uh, Among Us have anything to do uh, with Donald, uh, Donald Trump re-election? Or the chances of him being, re uh, being re-elected? We think so, yes. Why? <laughs> we don't well, know. in Among Us, when you are the crewmate, aka the, the innocent uh, and players, the good. exactly, they have certain tasks they need to complete. Are these tasks like a, a symbolic for voting at a voting booth? Voting for Trump at the voting booth? Is he the, uh, the innocent or is he the imposter? Is he working with China and Putin? And that's our next question. Who is the imposter? Putin, in the slot, Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> Three imposters is max. Yes. This is the max amount of imposters in a lobby. And if we are going to associate the 15 player lobby as the increase of our population on this earth, that means we have three imposters. And we can say that there are three countries. So is it the US? Is it Russia? Or is it China? Or all, maybe all three of them, all trying to get in to the European Western democracies and claim our land, our people, our children and our wives. <laughs> so, <laughs> creator of Burger King Remix and Among Drip, do they have anything to do with the expansion of Russia into the Western dem uh, democracies. Or are they th our last line of defense against these threats from the East? Are they trying to tell us something? Maybe they're trying to tell us about the suspicious behavior. We will never know. We will never know. And as it is, the best survival tactic in the video game Among Us is sticking together when the imposter is trying to separate us as the three named above. So, in this current distress that we're in, we need to stay together, we need to fight, and we need to unite and fight this <clears throat> danger that has, ris uh, that has risen from the east. We can no longer stay here and wait. We need to fight back. Fuck those. <laughs> 